Good evening. Good evening. So, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hey, I'm evening, really teacher. happy to see you over here in the class. Yo, yo. I hope that you are uh, having a great time there. Well, we're going to start. I'm sorry because I got into into the class like a couple of minutes uh, late, but you know, we're gonna uh, start. Okay, you know, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of activities to, to do. Uh, Teacher. Tell me. Eh, ayer tuve un problema que me había conectado en otro grupo. Ah, okay. Eh, quería consultar entonces si este es el intermedio módulo uno. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Intermediate okay. English. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Intermediate English. Okay, so, well, uh, you know, we're going to continue working. Okay, we have a lot of work to do. Okay, yesterday I told you about about homework assignment, right? Um, but you know, I will. I I want you to be like ready. I want you to be ready because um, later I will ask you to participate and tell us about the biography. Okay, remember there's a biography, right? That you are in church of presenting uh, tonight. Okay, but uh, before uh, getting into that activity, let's go over Let me see, give me one second, please. Okay, now all here, right? Well, uh, yesterday we were talking about a simple past, right? Simple past. Uh, we were talking about a was and where. Okay, the way we uh, create a statements in the past. Okay, with regular and irregular verbs. Okay, and also uh, the auxiliary t, right? When do we need the auxiliary? Uh, when do we need the auxiliary t? Okay, positive, negative, and interrogative statements. Okay, and now uh, we're gonna check. Do you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Now yes, I, I, I will. I will. I will read. Then you will tell me what's the best option. Okay. It says knowledge check. Okay. This question. It should. Excellent. Very good. Choose the best response to this question. Did she play Did soccer play in high school? In high school. What's the? Is it A, B, or C? What's the best option? B. No, she did. Okay, B. What what's B all about? Read the answer, please. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played a uh, basketball. Basket. Okay, let's see. Let's we're gonna see if we if we each uh, we are best. correct. We're gonna check it at the end, okay? Don't worry. Okay, good. Don't worry. What about number two? Choose the best response. When did you when graduate did you from start? college? I graduated from college in 2005, the second one. Okay. Second one. Second one. I graduated yeah. from college in 2005. Five. Number Five. three. I grew up in Houston, Texas. What would be like, like the question for this uh, st statement? The first one. Second. Second or no. first? Second. Second. Well, so people say the first, some other people say the second one. <laughs> first, first, first one. First, first okay, one. first. We're going to see, okay? First. Okay, we're going to see. And if, if, if we commit a mistake, so we're going to check, uh, we're going to uh -huh. see, right? What's What happened? At the no. end, we want to know. Yeah, we, we're going to know. Okay, so we're going to have some review. Don't worry. Uh, what about the, the number end? the number four, right? I began, I began to, to study, study English. Uh, I began, good. 
I began to study English two years ago. Two years ago. What would be the, the question for that one? First one. What did first, you begin to study? When did you begin to study English? The first one. Okay. Number five, I think this is the last one, right? Choose mm -hmm. the best response. Did you happen did you when, you when you were a child? child? Yes, I did. Yes. I yes, did. I did. All right. Now, oh, here's a show answers, and we're going to see what's going on. If we got a 10, right? Oh, my. Number one? <laughs> That's correct, right? That's correct, right? Very good. Number mm -hmm. two. Okay. No, also, she, also we have we have a boy. Very good. You you yeah, did it, right? I graduated from college in 2005. Mm -hmm. Number three, pretty good. Excellent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Houston, Texas. Number four, when did you begin to study English? Pretty good. And number five, um, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Fantastic. Pretty good. Now, if you have any question, this is the time. Not if teacher. You, no. No, not at all. It's not okay, Chef. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Now let's see. Why don't we why don't we uh, move on as quickly as possible? Okay, because you know I have I have pretty pretty nice questions on here. Uh, did you have a pet when you were a child? This is a good yes, one, right? I have. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Uh, what what's its name? It was it was uh, black. <laughs> black. It was a cat. Ah, it was a cat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the name of the cat was black. Black because the color is was black. <laughs> so that's that's all right. Pretty good. Now this is a good question, right? Everybody can like. I remember, okay, like um, to start thinking about past, okay. Um, when did you begin? When did you begin to study English? Anybody in the group? Uh, hmm? in my case, I started like as eight years ago, but I just started for um, five months. Five months. Yeah, and after that, uh, during during the pandemic situation, I tried to study again, but I just went in for twenty days, and they they cut everything. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, we over overcame the situation. So I tried to improve my English on the platform. It is free for talk, and I talk with many people around the world. Fantastic. Pretty good. Now you see, we are interacting, we are interacting with the same questions, right? Now, do you have a pay when you were a child? To say, yes, I did. Now, uh, when did you begin to study English? Like five months ago. Uh, what about if I ask, um, when did you grow up? Uh, so that's where did you grow up? Where? I grew up in uh, Wachapan. Uh, you grew up in Wachapan. What about the rest? Very good. I grew, I grew up, up in Suchitoto. Are you grew up, up in Suchitoto? Uh, yes. Uh, all right. Very I good. grew up in Cuscatancingo. Fantastic. Cuscatancingo. Okay. Very good. I grew up in Santa Ana. Hey, you grew up yes. in Santa Ana. Very good. What about I you, teacher? <laughs> I grew up. Uh, what about in... you, teacher? Tell us. Hey, I grew up in Santana. You know, I'm a Santa oh, 100%. Okay. <laughs> That's the reason that I can hear you. You're so far. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. good. Hey, you know, I love this group. I love this group. You are really nice people. Hey, when did you graduate from college? Did you go to college or, I mean, uh, did you graduate from high school? I graduated from college uh, from the Universidad Tecnológica in San Salvador. Good. Excellent. Okay. What about the rest? 
No, I didn't went to the college. So. Oh, you didn't go to college. Okay, that's, that's all right. What about the rest? Rafa, Vicente, Gladys. I went to. I graduated from college in 2014. Good, very good, Jessica. Vicente. Mm -hmm. I graduated from uh -huh. National right. Institute of Chalatenango. Chalatenango, fantastic. Is I, get out, I get out College University, Nueva San Salvador. San Salvador. Good. Excellent. Carla, Carla, I think Carla wants to say something. Yes. I graduated of the University of Francisco Gavidia in 20. Um, 2021. Good, good memories, oh. right? About two years ago. About two years ago. Wow, Excellent. very good. Now you know this is a, this is another question. This is the first one, right? Do you play soccer when you when you uh, when you go to high school? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I don't. No, you didn't. Okay, Carla, what about you? Do you play soccer? Yes, yes I did. Um, yeah, you did. Soccer. Okay, now you see, we are remembering about our past, right? Where we may, wait, you know, we are going to advance, okay? We have a lot of, a lot of things to do, you know. It is, uh, tomorrow we are having classes, all right? All right. You, yes. know, you know, tomorrow we are having classes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. this week and next week. So don't forget it, people. That's quite important for you to, mm -hmm. you know, 80%. You're going to be ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Now, you, you see, uh, for tonight, you know, we're going to continue talking about past. Negative statements in the past, using the verb to be. Okay. Additionally, we're going to be able to talk about background in English. Okay. Explaining where, where we were born and when uh, we came when we came to the United States. Okay, now that's that's what we're gonna be talking about. And in order to do so, we're gonna we're gonna go over and uh, to see another video. Okay, simple past statements with the verb be. Now, I, I, I will ask, what is the past uh, form of the verb be? Sorry. What is the past form of the, of the verb be, people? Was, was, and, was, and was and where? Now, you already know about was what we're where, talking. So that, that means that this is, this is going to be like some review for you, right? Okay, if we want to con con uh, conjugate the verb, then we say, I... I was. I was. I, I was. was. Very good. I was. You... Where? 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 He... Where? He where? He where? He where? He where? Uh-uh. I... He was. was. Okay. You where? 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 He was. was. She was. 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 It was. was. We was. Where? 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 You where? 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 And they where? 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 like that, right? So now we're going to have some review, okay? Because actually the, 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 the videos are since you know about what's going on with the verb be in the past, it's going to be a piece of cake. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, but give me one second, because I think I didn't share, I didn't share the audio. Oh, I did now. Okay. Now at the end, I will ask, okay, about certain information that's going to be provided in the video. So be ready. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be. Additionally, you'll be able to make statements such as, I was born in China. I wasn't born in the United States. Let me get started by quickly explaining this chart. Positive statements such as I was born in Argentina and how to make negative statements such as I wasn't born in let's say Mexico.
The first thing that I would like to explain regarding this topic is one basic rule, and that's the verb to be. So let me uh, let me get to that. What I want to do is explain the following concept, and that is that the verb to be will change depending on the pronoun that you use. For instance, whenever you use the pronouns I, he, she, or it, the verb to be that we're going to have to use for positive sentences is was. And whenever we make a negative sentence, then we're going to have to use wasn't. So if we look at our example here at the top, I was born in Argentina. Um, if I use another pronoun, let's say that I use the pronoun he, then I will say he was born in Argentina. If I were to use the pronoun she, then I would say she was born in Argentina. And obviously the same thing whenever we make a positive or negative sentence uh, with the um, other um, pronoun. So if I were to talk about we, then we will say something like, we were born in Argentina, um, you were born in Argentina, they were born in Argentina. Uh, so let me quickly explain uh, you know, what the structure looks like. So in order to do that, we're going to have a subject plus uh, the verb to be in the past, and then we're going to have some sort of complement. So the example is, um, I was born in Argentina. And then what I want to say is I also want to give a negative statement. So I want to say I wasn't born in uh, China. This is the uh, first example that I gave you at the beginning. Um, and what I want to do at this time, I just want to quickly color that. I'm going to color the subject in red. And I would like to color uh, the verb in green. And then the complement, I'm just going to go ahead and color that in a different color. It could be any color. The only thing that I want you to notice is that uh, we have a subject at the beginning that follows the verb to be, and then that follows some sort of complement in order for us to make the positive statements or the negative statements. So I mentioned that um, the subject, we can change that to any subject that we would like. So for example, he, we could say he was born in Argentina. Uh, we could say she was born in Argentina. And also, I quickly want you to learn that you may also use names here. So for example, you may say Peter was born in Argentina, right? Uh, Mary was born in Argentina, and so on and so forth. Uh, and of course, if we want to make negative statements, then we would say something like this. Uh, he wasn't born in, Ar in China, right? I was born in Argentina. I wasn't born in China. Whenever we change this subject, now we use you. So therefore, we're going to have to use the verb to be where. And in our negative statements, that will be weren't. So uh, you were born in Argentina. And of course, we can say you. And this will be in its negative form. So this will be you weren't born in China. So what I would like for you to do now is to tell me in what part of the world were you born? And I want you to give me positive statements and negative statements about yourself. So for instance, let's say that you were born in Brazil. Well, then you will tell me something like, I was born in Brazil. And obviously, because you were born in Brazil, you weren't born in Argentina. So your statement could be, I was born in Brazil. I wasn't born in Argentina. Um, and I know there are students from different parts of the world, so maybe your statement could be, I was born in China. I wasn't born in Japan. And perhaps your parents were born in France. So my parents were born in France. And I want you to make a negative statement with that. So they weren't born in, let's say, Spain. All right. That was it, right? Hey, now, you know, I told you the last time, I, I wonder if there is any question about the information we saw in the video. That's, that's, I don't know if there, if there is any question, any doubt. No question right now, teacher. No questions right now. No, no, no. Not, 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 not at all. Question. No question. Okay, now, then, if there is no any question, now, you know, I, I will ask you to participate actively in the class. Yesterday, I told you about presenting a, a biography. 
All right, so we're gonna go over it. Okay, and let me see. Uh, let me see, let me see. Carla, give me one number from one through five. <laughs> five. Five, okay. Select, select the victim. One, two, three. Okay, Mary, Maria del Carmen, go ahead. That's your turn. <laughs> Don't worry, because then you're gonna <laughs> tell me. You're gonna choose the next person, okay? Break the eye. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, here we go. I don't know if Ricky Martin is um it's not a good example, but I'm going to talk to you about him. All right. Um about who? He was Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, all right, Ricky Martin. Yes. Good. Yes. And enjoy teacher. Ricky Martin. Thank you. <laughs> Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico in on December 24 on December 24, 1971. Um when he was a child, uh, he appeared in comer in TV commercials and at the age of 12, he joined to a, a group, Menudo. And then he left that, that group um, in five years. Five years, he, he was in that group. And after that, he moved to New York City but he didn't work um, for a year. And after that, he moved to Mexico City. And he appeared in a soap opera, in a, oh my gosh, in a soap opera. American soap opera. And in the Broadway show, Los Miserables. <laughs> that is the name, the Los Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca. <laughs> was on that album. And now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA today, I want to do this forever. And he's singing. That was yeah. it? Yeah. Wow. Clap <laughs> for you. You did a great job. Okay, now you see it's more important for you to put into practice what we saw in the video, right? The video is just for you to have like the idea on how to use the grammatical structure. You use the, the, the verb in the past and you use different verbs in, in the past at the same time. That was fantastic. Yeah. Okay, Mary, choose the second participant, please. I, I, I think like three people will participate. Okay, three, because we need to move on. Um, Carla? Okay, Carla, that's your turn. Okay. Um, my biography is about the Pope John Paul II. Uh, Carol Joseph Boptila was born in the public town in Guadalajara. He was the youngest uh, of three child born to Carol 1920. He was the como, 26 time. Uh, Pope of the Catholic Church and Severin of Vatican City from October and 50 in 1778 until death. Uh, in 
20 of five, he was canonist in 2014 during Francis pontificate and making him a saint of the Catholic, Catholic Church. And he died on April of 25, oh, 20 of five in the city of the Vatican, the Vatican. Fantastic, Carla. Wow, congrats. Congrats. Okay, now when you put into practice everything, that makes me really happy. Carla, who's the next participant? Okay. Uh, Brandy? Brandy. All right. Hello, Brandy. Okay. Okay, it's your turn. How many minutes? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's up Mo. to you. I mean, one, two, or three Mo. minutes would be all right. <laughs> my biography is about Bruce Lee. Oh, Bruce Lee. Okay, let us know uh, about him. My favorite actor. Bruce Lee, born in November 27, and the year is 1940 in San Francisco, something that I didn't know. And American, yeah, and uh, he died in July 20, and the year was 1973. And he died when he was uh, 32 years old in Hong Kong, China. And something that I didn't know was the real name, the Chinese name, uh, was Li Jun Fan. Okay, let me see. He grew up, okay, he born in uh, San Francisco, but he grew up in Hong Kong. He was introduced to entertainment industry at an early age, as his father was an opera singer and part-time actor. The younger Lee began a Hearing in field as a child was frequently cast as a juvenile delinquent or a street urchin as a teenager. He took up with, with local guns and began learning Kung Fu to better defend himself. At the time, he also started dance lesson with uh, Furner Refining. His footwork at Balance in 1958, Lee won the Hong Kong Cha Cha uh, champion, Championship. Oh, it's a, it's a so large, this biography. Can I read everything? No, I mean, it, it will be all right now. Okay, what really matters is, is that you did the homework and that you can identify the past uh, form of the verb be, simple past form of all the verbs. And, you know, that's quite good. I think it's enough, Brandy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I wonder if there is a, a last participant. Otherwise, we're going to move on with the activities in the platform. Is there any other one? Is there any other participant who wants to share? Okay. Okay. I wrote about a little bit uh, Martin Luther King, and he was born in Georgia, Atlanta on January 15, in 1929. And his real name was Michael. But later he changed his name to Martin. And he was an American minister and a Baptist activities of the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, serving from 1914 to 1931. And Martin Luther King attended different public schools in Georgia. 
he graduated from high school to the age of 15. And then he went to college and he got a bachelor's degree in 1948. In addition, he studied three years of theological study in Pennsylvania. And the most important thing in his life that uh, he won a prize, a piece of no Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, because uh, he fight for the rights of the black people in the United States. And he got married and he had two daughters and he always was a strong worker for civil rights for member of his of his rights and he traveled over six million miles he spoke over 2500 times about injustice protest and action and finally he was killed uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, while he was standing on the balcony of the motel room. That's it. <laughs> wow, that was fantastic. And, well, congratulations. Congrats, people. Hey, you know, I had a homework for you. Okay, now I, I, will, I will type it in the chat so that you investigate about it, and tomorrow you are gonna share that info with the group. Is that right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, there is something that's quite important in English, and that is the way we pronounce uh, the words, okay? All the words in English are important, and especially when we, when we uh, use um, a different tenses, right? In this case, simple past form or regular uh, verse, any regular verse, you know. But I, I could notice that uh, we, we need to have some review on how to pronounce the verse in, in the past, regular verse, you know, all the verse in ED. Okay, so that's humble for tomorrow, people. Mañana voy a elegir a, unas, a, a unos dos o tres participantes que nos digan Cómo utilizar, cómo, cómo pronunciar los verbos regulares en pasado. Son tres pronunciaciones diferentes y hay algunas reglas por ahí. Yo creo que lo vieron en básico, ¿verdad? Creo que por ahí lo vimos. Este, si no fue básico, pues fue un pre-intermediate. Okay, regular sí. or regular. regular? No, that's regular. Regular, regular verbs. Okay, the way we pronounce regular verbs in the past form. Okay, eso, eso, este, hay que, um, hay que seguirlo practicando, chicos. Okay, now let's see. Let's, let's continue, okay? Let us continue. Because I still have something to share with you. Okay. And in order to, in order to uh, reaffirm, um, the knowledge about simple parts of the verb be, we have the following. Now you are gonna tell me which is the correct. You will say A, B, or C, and then you are going to tell me that, I mean, you're gonna read. Which is the correct use? He was born in Spain, he hey. was born in Spain, or he wasn't born in Spain? First one. Uh, uh, okay. First one. What's first one all about? Number one, the first one. Was yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, could you please read the statement? He was, he was born, born in Spain. Spain. He was born in Spain. He was born in Spain. You should say, my parents was in France. My parents wasn't in France, or my parents were in, were in France. Last word. Where my were in France. What is the whole the, the complete statement? My parents, my parents were in France. France. Where in France. Where, where in France. My parents were in France. Very good. What is the grammatically correct answer to this question? Where were you born? 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 Where were you born?
I were born in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. I was born, I was born in Mexico. And I wasn't born in Peru. And I wasn't born in Peru. No, not before. My wife and I was or were. Where? 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 My wife and I were in Mexico. Where in, Mexico. in Mexico. And the last one, the English quiz. Was, was a little different. Was, 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 was. Is was. that true? A little, a little different. That's true. It is. Is it true? Is 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 the English too difficult? Was. Was. Not really, right? This is a piece <laughs> of cake. Not really. No, More not or really. less. Piece of chocolate. <laughs> piece of chocolate, right? <laughs> if you love chocolate, okay. Piece, piece. Yes. Yeah, wow, people. I, I think you love to get the, the, the top notch in every single activity. That's fantastic. Pretty good, pretty good. Nah, okay. So I think you don't you don't have uh, uh, problems with the with the per uh, to be in the past. So that means that we can move on. Now you know over here we have something else, right? Uh, we're gonna go over uh, this lesson, okay? But in this case we're gonna see some questions, okay? We're gonna practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be. Okay, asking a person about his or her background. Okay, for example, you'll be able to say uh, or to provide information about the place you were born in the city or in this country, for example. Okay, and let's see, we, we will move on. You see? Wow, you are mm -hmm. very smart people. Now, we will continue with the verb be, but in this case, it's going to be about question, quite important. Okay. Here we go, pay attention. Okay. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna include will be the verb to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm gonna include, hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb to be either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Um, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be. I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, three. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the, uh, uh, the verb to be here. And then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right. There we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall 
uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject, and then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here, we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. And the only difference that we're going to have in creating WH questions is that I'm going to write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. And everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. OK, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word. And then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we let me write the same one there where the verb to be. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH questions simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. All right, I will stop it there because these are questions that you are going to answer tomorrow. Okay, so do me the favor to take notes. Were you a good student in high school? Who was your hero when you were a child? And how old were you in 1999? Okay, people, this is second homework for tomorrow. Esta es la segunda tarea para mañana. Por supuesto, vaya en la primera, dice, were you a good student in high school? No solo me van a responder, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Me van a decir por qué ustedes eran o no eran buenos estudiantes en, en su bachillerato. Lo mismo con, who was your hero when you were a child? ¿Quién era tu héroe cuando eras un niño o cuando eras una niña? Okay, pueden decirnos um, Peter Pan or, or my dad or my mom. Okay, pero nos van a decir por qué. Okay, por qué esa persona o ese personaje era su héroe cuando ustedes estaban pequeñitos. Answer eh, and explain. Yeah, answer and explain. How old were you in 1999? Esta sí, ¿verdad? How old were you in 1999? Esta sí, solo, solo nos van a decir cuántos años tenía en 1990. It's real, real age. 
teacher. Real age, I, hey, that's right, I no was... lie. <laughs> Real age. Okay. Go, go, go. Just for a minute, we can be liars, okay? Yeah, yeah that's cool. right, don't be liar. <laughs> okay, I tell me. I was not born. Oh, you were not, okay, so let us know about it. You, 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 you were not born. Wow, how old are you now, Angel? I have 19. <laughs> You are 19. Yeah. Wow, you're, you're still a teenager, right? Cool. So we will... Collagen is the, is the youngest. Yeah, I think he's the youngest, right? 19. Yeah. Wait, congrats, Angel, yeah. because, you know, the majority of people at your age, you know, the majority of teenagers just right now, they are like playing a video game or just seeing a movie, but they are not thinking about improving um, a second language or getting a second language. Congrats. Same now, thing. are you done? Yeah. All right. Yep. So, to, how many homeworks do we have for tomorrow? Two. Uh, no more than that. You want more? Kidding, Mas? Yeah, more, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I think it's going to be enough. Okay. It's going to be enough. Hey, I will check. I will check the list of attendance. All right. Because this is quite important. And then we will continue. I think we still have some time, but it really matters to me to know about the list of attendance. Give me one second. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is the one. Hey, what day is today, people? January 19th. Today is the 19th. All today right. Today is 19th. January the 19th. Very good. Jim. Anna Ivania. I'm here. Okay, Anna Jassy. Present teacher. Good, Angel. I'm here, teacher. Very good, Brandy. Present. Cecilia. Cecilia is over here, right? <laughs> Cecilia Yamilet. Is Cecilia in the class, yes or no? No? Cecilia Yamilet? Cecilia Yamilet. Cristina del Carmen? Present. Daniel Alejandro? Good. Good. Diana Stephanie? Present. Elena Noemi? Present. Evelyn? Present. Fernando Alberto? Hello, Fernando, are you there? Fernando yes. Alberto. Is Fernando here? Here, teacher. Ah, okay, I'm very here. good. Fernando is here. Gladys? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Gladys, present. Very good. It is Concepcion. I'm here, teacher. I'm here. Present, teacher. Good. Jessica? Present, teacher. Good. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Nice. Kevin. Present teacher. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Oscar Alejandro. Present teacher. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Rafael Ernesto. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Good. Sandra Noemi. Present. Vicente Israel. Here, teacher. Janira Elizabeth. Present, teacher. I'm here. Okay, now I will I will let you know about people. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Now let me see. 
People, I, I don't, uh, I, I didn't hear. No escuché a Cecilia, yo me pareció verla en la clase. Cecilia Yamilet. No Richard, I'm here. Okay, Vicente, thank you. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay. Bueno. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, you take me my a sentence. Fernando Alberto. Yes. I Give hear. me one second, Fernando. Fernando Alberto Contreras. Yes. Yes, Fernando. Yes. Uh, thank you, teacher. Yes, uh, because I have bad ear. Uh, okay, no, but don't worry, I did it. I did it, okay? So people I didn't listen. Okay, solo para, para reafirmar. No escuché a Cecilia Yamilet, me pareció verla, pero ya al final como que Elena Noemí María del Carmen. I am here. Uh, María del Carmen is here. Very good. Yeah. Eh, Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Rafa. Rafael Ernesto. And that's it, right? So practically everybody here, right? Practicamente todos. Yes, we are here, teacher. Pretty good. Nice. Now we're going to stop here. Let's see. For, and for two... tomorrow, only two homework, teacher. But if you need, if you want to have more homeworks, <laughs> I can. No, 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 that's okay. That's, yeah, okay. <laughs> more. Only for remember. <laughs> more, please. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. No, I mean, hey, thank congrats. you very much. <laughs> congrats because you have done a great job tonight. Let's no, only for be sure. Only for be sure. <laughs> for the Tell me, Alejandro. They say, they say because they they will chill, they be chilling all day long. I think so. <laughs> because uh, hey, my home my home. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> Tomorrow you will be crying. They will say, "No, teacher, we were kidding, right?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, you have two homeboards and I think they, they are enough. Pensaba dejarles la actividad de, de la autobiografía, porque ya ustedes nos dieron una biografía. Yo sé que todos se prepararon. La verdad que los felicito, ¿ok? Pero Thank pensaba you. en asignarles la, la actividad de la autobiografía, pero en el camino oh, de la clase. Bueno, Quien quiera hacerlo, háganlo, ¿ok? No hay ningún problema trabajar en una autobiografía, pero este, sí me, en el desarrollo de la clase me surgieron algunas inquietudes. Por ejemplo, la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. En pasado es sumamente importante que lo manejemos bien. Otra cosa, chicos, que yo he notado es que um, algunos de ustedes dicen, I have, I have 20 years old. O ok, no vamos a decir I have. Ok, decimos I, I am, 20. I am, I'm, I'm 20, tengo 20, 20 años, I am, ok, eh, el verbo have no se utiliza ahí, ok, si usted quiere decir que alguien tiene 20 años, si es ella, she is 20, si es él, 20. he is 20, si soy 20. yo, pues I am I'm 20. 20, ok, I'm 20, ok, son cositas que, it's que in pues, the past, it's in the past, what? Yeah, if you want to say it, 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 I was wow. I was 20 yes. in, in, in 1999, I was 20, for example. I was 20, I was 20 in right. 1999. Okay, I was. But but what I want you to know is that you need to use the verb be. Okay. Not the verb have. Is there any question? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay. So we're gonna stop over here okay. and let us see tomorrow, people. Okay, okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.
If you okay, want. It's a nice idea. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, everybody. See you.